So as mentioned previously, when calculating the lease liability, the lease payments must be discounted using the interest rate implicit in the lease. When calculating the interest rate implicit in the lease, it is important to note that it will be from the lessor's perspective. So even though you are accounting for the lease in terms of the lessee, when it comes to interest rate implicit in the lease, you need to look at everything that affects the lessor. The interest rate implicit in the lease is the rate at which the present value of the lease payments plus the unguaranteed residual value will be equal to the fair value of the leased asset plus the initial direct cost of the lessor. An unguaranteed residual value is an estimate of what the lessor expects to receive for the asset after the lease term. The amount has not been guaranteed by the lessee at all. This amount is, however, taken into account when calculating interest rate implicit in the lease, as the rate is from the lessor's perspective and the lessor expects to receive this amount at the end of the lease term. Also take note that the initial direct costs are initial direct costs incurred by the lessor, as the initial direct costs are costs di directly related to the lease from the lessor's perspective. So let's have a look at an example. On 1 July 2018, Cats Limited entered into a lease agreement with Wheats Limited to lease a motor vehicle. The lease agreement is a lease in terms of IFRA 16 leases, and the terms of the lease agreement were as follows. The fair value of the motor vehicle on 1 July 2018 was 300,000 Rand. The lease term was three years, and there were biannual payments in arrears starting on 31 December 2018 of 50,000 Rand. The estimated unguaranteed residual payable at the end of the lease is 80,000 Rand. Ownership will not pass to Cats Limited at the end of the lease term, and Wheats Limited incurred legal fees of 5,000 Rand to enter into the lease agreement. Required, prepare the journal entries to account for the lease on 1 July 2018 in the accounting records of Cats Limited. We know that the lease is a lease in terms of IFRA 16 leases, as this was given. Therefore, IFRA 16 leases will apply. Cats Limited will be leasing the motor vehicle and therefore Cats Limited is the lessee. The recognition exemption will not apply as it is not a short term lease nor is it a low value asset. But even if it was, there is no indication in the question that Cats Limited elects a recognition exemption for short term or low value assets. Therefore, you need to look whether or not the entity actually elects to make use of that recognition exemption or not. Therefore, we know that we need to recognize the lease liability. The lease liability will be the present value of the lease payments discounted using the interest rate implicit in the lease. We also need to recognize a right of use asset and the starting point being the present value of the lease liability to which we're going to add initial direct costs of the lessee, any lease payments paid on or at commencement date, as well as taking into an estimate of dismantling costs. The first thing we need to do is calculate the interest rate implicit in the lease. To do this, you need a financial calculator and you will need to input the following amounts. First of all, we have N equal to 6. Now remember that N represents the total number of payments. So the lease term is three years and there are two payments per year. So the total number of payments um, are 6. Depending on the type of calculator you use, you will need to set your calculator on the number of payments per year, which in this case is 2. If you do not know how to do this, please have a look at your calculator manual as this will affect the interest rate that you um, calculate. Next, the payment is 50,000 Rand. The PV is the fair value of the asset plus the initial direct cost of the lessor. 
therefore 305,000 Rand. Our future value is 80,000 Rand. Remember there was an unguaranteed residual value in this question and we are looking at this from the lessor's perspective so that 80,000 Rand unguaranteed residual does affect your lessor. When you compute I, you get an interest rate of 11.502%. Now that we have the interest rate implicit in the lease, we can calculate the present value of the lease liability. Our N is still 6, payment is 50,000, our interest is 11.502%, the amount that we've just calculated. Our future value is 0. It's zero because it was an unguaranteed residual, meaning nobody has guaranteed this amount. The only time there will be an amount at the future value is if the lessee guarantees to pay the residual value. If we compute our PV, we get an amount of 247,802. The right of use asset is calculated by using the PV of the lease liability, which is 247,802. Next, we add items such as initial direct costs incurred by the lessee, estimate of dismantling costs, lease payments um, made on or before commencement date, but in this example, they are all zero. Therefore, the total value of our right of use asset is 247,802. Now we need to prepare the journals at initial recognition being 1 July 2018. So we will debit our right of use asset with 247,802 and we will credit our lease liability with 247,802.